Candyman. 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 You see? What did I tell you? Candyman isn't real. Alright, so I just got out of seeing Candyman, and uh, if you guys don't know, this is not a reboot. This one is actually a direct sequel to the original, to the 1992 original. Um, so that's kind of like what I really like about, about this new one, that they didn't remake the thing. It, so, it, so it's basically avoiding, you know, part two and three. And the thing is, I seen part two a couple years ago on, on Netflix. I thought that one was okay. I haven't even seen the third one, but I don't really have to since this one's a direct sequel to the first one. So this this new one is basically the official Candyman 2, the official follow-up sequel. Um, yeah, but I have Candyman 3 on a, on a VHS. I still haven't watched it yet, so I don't know when I'll watch it. But um, but what basically this, one, this movie right here is, you know... Um, if you guys don't know what, what the Candyman movies are, you know, Candyman, it's basically like when you say, um, Candyman five times in the mirror, basically he comes out of the mirror, uh, a guy with a hook comes out of the mirror and kills you. Kind of like, kind of like the Bloody Mary urban legend. Um, but with the, this movie right here is, um, basically this one, um, involves a, a couple who are in this apartment and, um, the one guy, um, you know, I think... Either, I think it's a hut, her husband, or, or maybe her boyfriend, I'm not sure, but, uh, you know, he's a painter, and, you know, he has this, I think he owns a museum, and, um, you know, he heard about the urban legend about Candyman, and, um, he's basically trying to know more about the Candyman thing, because, you know, he's painting pictures of Candyman, and, um, basically wants to know more about Candyman and about, you know, Virginia Mason's character, um, and, you know, I have to say, um, it was very great seeing, um, but a little, not really a spoiler, but, you know, can't, or Tony Todd is only in it for, like, maybe, maybe, like, a couple minutes, maybe a second. Um, but that, that was kind of, like, the only thing I kind of, like, didn't like. You know, I didn't really like how, you know, they replaced Tony Todd as Candyman, because that's, that's what they did in the movie, you know? I really wish they would have just brought him back as Candyman, because that would have been very neat. You know, and Virginia Mason is it in it, not, not really in it, but you only hear her voice in the movie. And another person reprises the role, and you see it in the trailer, but she's only in it for a minute. It's um, uh, Vanessa Williams' character, you know, come, is back in it for like a minute or two. Um, you know, who was, you know, she played like a uh, the woman who was living in the apartments, the one with the baby, um, she's back in the movie for like a minute. But that's kind of like what the movie is, you know, people thinking, you know, the Candyman thing's an urban legend, of course, you know, someone says the, does the Candyman thing and Candyman comes back, um, you know, killing people off one by one. And, you know, this one was directed by Jordan Peele, and, you know, Jordan Peele has done some pro... You know, I, I really like what he's doing with these horror movies, you know. Um, you know, I do love Get Out, and I do love, you know, Us, even though that one was kind of confusing in a sort of way to me. It still is. I know uh, this movie won Fresh Rotten Tomatoes. But it's really not my favorite one in the series. I mean, I, I like, I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad movie, but I mean, I appreciate what Jordan Peele is doing. What, what he was trying to do with this movie, though. Um, I, I, I'm I actually surprised that this movie, um, Blumhouse, ha didn't have anything to do with it, because I kind of had a... kind of kind of feels more like something like Blumhouse would have done. I'm surprised it didn't have the rights to it. Um, but, I mean, it's... It's it's one of those kind of movies. It's not really... It's not a bad movie. I mean, I'd, on a scale of 1 to 10, probably give it... maybe a... 7 out of 10, and out of 5 stars, probably a 4, 4 out of 5, um, I mean, I still love the movie, and, you know, I'll still get it when it comes out the Blu-ray in 4K, um, I don't know if they'll get a 4K release, um, but, you know, for, from, for what it was, I thought it was actually kind of decent, you know, um, I do like, you know, how Jordan Peele was sticking, going to 
doing these horror movies, and, you know, um, but I kind of liked, you know, Get Out a little bit better than this, than this one, though. Get Out and Us, I like those ones a little bit better. But, and, you know, um, you know, this one's not a bad one, but it's, it's definitely worth watching, though, um, if you're in for, like, some gore, because there are some gory scenes in the movie, um, believe it or not, um, but, um, just wanted to give you guys, like, what, what my thoughts are about the movie, and, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later, bye!